what is up guys so today we're out ice fishing um, we're not really targeting one specific species we're doing more of a little experiment um, I have two tip two tip ups out two GoPros underneath the ice and two minnows one minnow is dead and one minnow is alive uh, we're gonna see which um, works better live bait or dead bait for ice fishing um, it's pretty cool I'm interested to see how it works I think maybe the dead bait might catch more lethargic species like bass, maybe catfish, uh, things along those lines. And the live bait will probably catch more pike and bass. Um, but I think overall the live bait will probably catch a few extra fish just because that minnow is moving around down there. Um, it's going to draw fish in from farther away whereas the dead bait uh, is going to sit still obviously and probably fish are going to have to come up near it in order to find it. But anyways, there's only one way to figure out for sure so let's get to that underwater footage and see what's going on down there. Okay guys, we got our first flag of the day, and this one was on the live bait, so let's see what he is. It's not been that long really since I got, or this is my first fish, and it's not been long since I've gotten it. Feeling decent actually. You guys already know what it is probably, if you saw that on the underwater camera. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not going to guess. Just going to see what he is. Oh, he's pulling a little harder. That's a uh, nice bass, nice. I don't know how big it is, but it's a largemouth. Sweet. Uh, I used a, I have a fluorocarbon leader on here, and the, partially the reasoning was because I want to catch more of these guys. Um, this is not a very big fish, maybe a pound and a half or so. Um, but still, on that fluorocarbon leader, I have not broken off any pike on it yet. And so as long as I don't break any pike off, I'll keep using that to uh, maybe get a few more bass. So it's kind of cool. Well, here he is. A nice little largemouth. Again, nothing real big. Hoping for some big fish today. But let's get him back down the hole and uh, catch some more. That's one for live bait so far. Okay guys, we got another flag up. This one is on the dead bait, so now it is one to one. That's pretty cool, I wonder what this is. Oh shoot, there we go, got him. I set the hook way too early on that. Uh, feels good actually. Maybe like a pike though, I don't know. He's pulling hard. It felt, at first when I set the hook, it felt really nice. Oh, it's just a little pike. Not a bad little guy. But hey, pike on the dead bait and a bass on the live bait. That's a little, not ex exactly what I was expecting, but hey, whatever. Okay, he's not nearly as big as I thought he was. See ya.
Okay guys, well this is day two and uh, we got our first flag. I've not been here long, so it's a good sign. But then again, the same thing happened uh, the other day and I only caught two fish, so we'll see how it goes. There we go. There's a fish, first fish of the day. I'm hoping you guys already know what it is because the, the, the camera was rolling down there. So let's see her. Uh, little pike. Hey, first fish though, can't complain. Oh, and he even gave me, there's my next de dead bait. Keep that off to the side. First little uh, 12 inch of the day. Hopefully this is the last one. We're looking for some big ones today. But hey, nice little fish. All right guys, we got another flag up. This one did not have an underwater camera on it. Um, it was uh, just my third flag I had up, and I'm just gonna be alternating them between live and dead bait. Um, this one was live bait though, so let's see what's on here. There we go. Man, uh, he had a lot of line out. Oh, maybe not. Uh, let's see, it doesn't feel that big. Big head shakes. Let's see, let's see. A uh, little pike, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm actually filming this off my GoPro right now because for some reason my big camera is not working, it's not turning on, which is not very cool because I actually just lost my ice fishing radar the other day. It fell out of my sled while I was leaving ice fishing um, and it was like an hour and a half away from my house and I, I didn't realize it until the day after either. So that really sucks, but it's uh, starting off to be a pretty expensive month for me. But anyways, um, live bait did do a little better than dead bait in this video. Just because I think, like I said, live bait, you know, maybe attracts a few more fish from farther away. Um, dead bait did have a lot of fish come in and look at it, just not really many fish. I think it seemed like they wanted it to move around because the bass would come up and like nose it or nip at it and it would not move and then they just kind of swim away from it. Really weird. I'm not sure exactly why. It seems like they'd want a dead bait more in the winter, um, but 
anyways, this is how it went today. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for maybe something I was doing wrong, reasoning, maybe that dead bait didn't work as well. Um, I know usually herring and smelt and suckers are like the three more common dead baits. I just didn't have any of that around to, or available for me. So if you think that is a huge thing, I should definitely use that instead. Then maybe I'll try to film the video again. Um, let me know in the comments though. I really appreciate it guys. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video.